Okay, you should have received the, in the box with the Honeywell printer, you should have received the printer itself, a roll of labels, this little cardboard tube, which you're gonna need, a power supply, and a USB cable. Um, in addition, actually, I'm sorry, the labels didn't come in the box. Uh, so separately, you will have gotten the labels and the resin printer ribbon. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to install those because the instructions I saw online were not very clear. On either side of the printer are two tabs. You're gonna to wanna to push those. And that's gonna allow you to lift up. And then we're gonna to need to install the labels first. This mechanism here holds the labels and by default it is locked. Um, you're going to need to pull up on this little white mechanism here, it clicks, and that allows you to move these back and forth. So we will go ahead and labels go forward like this. We'll open this up, we'll drop these in there, and make sure that it sets so that it's rolling inside those uh, two spindles there. You'll probably want to then push that back down to lock that back into place. Next, you're gonna press these two white uh, buttons here to swivel this back. So I'm gonna take your labels and pull them around. And underneath this unit here and out the front. And pull a little bit extra because when you close this down, it's gonna push those back a little bit. Um, in addition, you'll see there are two tabs down here. You're gonna to wanna to slide the labels under those and close these gently on the labels um, so they act as a guide but are not impeding the progress of the labels. So make sure you do that. Next we're going to have to put in the resin ribbon cartridge and there's actually two ways to do that. We can access this from the bottom of the unit here by pulling this little door open here or you can access it from the top. So I'm going to go ahead and close this here so you'll see there are two uh, rollers inside of here, um, two little brackets. They are spring-loaded. If you pull them to the right, there's a spring, and you can just remove them. We're actually going to remove both of them. And again, you could do this by from underneath. Now you're going to get your resin ribbon and pull it out, open the package. And uh, there's a little bit of a starter tab on here. Be aware of that. Now the, the ribbon um, is going to go in this direction like this. It is a little bit easier to load the ribbon from underneath so let's go ahead and do that. So let's push these two buttons again, open this back up, and then pull down on this gray mechanism here and this is where the ribbon is going to go. So the ribbon is going to go in this orientation here and you're going to push it against this right mechanism here and then it will center on this white gear mechanism over here and you might have to turn it a little bit wiggle it a little bit you want to make sure that it gets in there there and then it locks into place so now you're going to want to grab that starter tab there get a hold of it go ahead and close that gray door that we opened before we're going to push this all the way down. There we go. Now we're going to pull some more ribbon out here. And we're going to let that set for a moment. Now you're going to need this cardboard roller that we found earlier. You're going to take one of these two uh, spindles that we removed earlier. And you're going to push that all the way inside the roller, like so. Um, this side with the prongs goes on the left. The open side goes on the right and you're gonna put that back in the place where the roller was before. And again, making sure that it locks into place there. This is where the used ribbon goes. And you're gonna to want to secure that onto the roller. Now there's two ways to do that. Um, if you've still got this sticky starter tab on here, you can just go ahead and stick it on there like that. If for whatever reason you don't, you can simply take a label and use a label to stick it to this roller here. Uh, but the important thing is this is the path you've got going. Um, once that's all together, um, put this in a safe place. We might need it later for other kinds of ribbon, uh, but for now we won't need it. We'll go ahead and close this printer up 
and it is time to attach the power.